Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your computer keeps freezing every few seconds or so. So there could be a variety of very long lists of potential reasons for that. But we're going to go through a couple of troubleshooting methods that I've found that are pretty successful. And you'll probably, if you watch my channel frequently enough, would see that I go back on them very often because they work. And that's why I highlight certain solutions more often than others. So I just want to put that out there. Sometimes one solution can work for a lot more problems than you could expect. But pretty straightforward process in today's tutorial, guys. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is actually a disk cleanup. So open up the search menu and just type in disk cleanup. Best result, should come back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. And we're going to go ahead and select OK and select the delete files. And then once that's done, go ahead and open up the search menu again. Type in defrag. Best match should come back with defragment and optimize drives. Go ahead and open that up. Select the analyze option. And then you would go ahead and select optimize. I'm not going to actually defrag this drive. For some reason, Windows is picking up as a hard disk drive, when in reality, it's a solid state drive, which you should not defragment. Solid state drives, you can trim them, but you can't, you at least should not be able to defrag them. So I don't understand necessarily why there's a glitch with this virtual machine, why it does that. I never really looked into it that long. But regardless, I would go ahead and actually optimize your hard drive when Windows is installed. It should be indicated by a little Windows icon kind of above the hard drive here. It's usually the C drive as well. Not always, but sometimes. So just someone else to take a look at there. And then you want to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best results should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm going to have a couple of commands in the description of my video here, guys. First one is a DISM scan. So go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Give us a couple minutes to run. And once that has finished, go ahead and copy and paste the second command. This is the system file checker utility. And then run that.
And once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process to follow. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.